and welcome to another episode of the creative brew and we are here at the Kobo pod here in beautiful oceanside california this is a boutique video and audio production studio uh if you're looking to create uh, quality content for your podcast for a, a webinar i just, actually i just recorded a webinar um here yesterday uh or like i said anything if you're looking to try to do a a group podcast or solo episode hey this is the place to be right now uh, it's got a great backdrop uh beautiful artwork uh and like i said uh i'll, I'll have to tag the tag the uh the artist but uh if you look around this um uh, this area uh, around this actual um studio a lot of artwork from david with uh dreamwave studio and uh i'll have to uh uh you know if anyone's interested i'll, I'll have to put the uh put the tag and the handle for for him but he's got some beautiful artwork but like i said we're, we're here um sun's still out palm trees uh you, you really can't beat that um so uh if you're interested in perhaps booking a new session um trying it out Hey, go to cobalt, uh, org and let's book a session today. And this episode is also brought to you by Astropad. And if you're an a iPad user like me, a digital artist, digital creator, um, iPad, uh, downloading, uh, subscribing, to, uh, uh, subscribing to Astropad actually allows you to turn your uh, iPad, uh, your iPad tablet into a professional graphics tablet. So you can use uh, Astropad, I mean, you can use Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, all your favorite programs uh, right from the comfort of your iPad Pro. Um, so, and now they have uh, functionality for Windows too. So um, if you're a Windows user, now you can download uh, Astropad now and uh, use it on your um, Windows um, tablet. So like the Surface Pros and some of the other ones, you can use it now. So uh, you can check them out at astropad.com or go to Astropad Co on Instagram and uh, check them out. So, and also too, this episode is brought to you by Panels Comics, uh, Comic Book and Coffee Bar here in Oceanside, California. And like I said, if you're looking for some of the hottest graphic novels, books um, right now, hey, check them out. Um, they also have a whole new list of iced coffees, uh, sandwiches. They have a, um, a Hulk smash panini, which is actually my favorite sandwich there. And they have a, a Gwenpool um, iced coffee with CBD um, oil in it. So it's a great drink. One of my favorite drinks right now. Um, so go by, check them out. If you mention the Creative Brew, you get 5% off. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, you actually get 10% off of your next book or coffee purchase. So uh, you can check them out. Check them out at Panels Coffee or go to panelscoffee.com. So. Um, going into a new episode and, um, for the ones that's, you know, been listening on Instagram live, like I said, we've been recording a few, uh, episodes, but this future episode, uh, which would be episode 67 is actually on repositioning yourself. Um, I'll go back, uh, into my background, um, as a wrestler, uh, someone that practices jujitsu. Um, there's a lot of things that I'm constantly learning. I, like I said, I've been competing for probably half my life, uh, and I'm still finding new things to learn and, um, you know, being around other coaches and other insight, um, uh, or other coaches that give me the insight to be able to, uh, use that and implement it into my own personal style. Um, the biggest thing that I, I think, uh, especially with this episode is, learning how to reposition yourself and this goes this can be reflected in really anything a lot of things that i may talk about i always talk about sports and and uh wrestling uh design and, and creativity and a lot of it sort of go goes hand in hand um even with entrepreneurship um your relationships um everything goes hand in hand um so figuring out how to re reposition yourself. And, um, you know, this is actually from a, uh, a small talk that I did with my wrestling class. And we talked about just the importance of having that, um, that foundation, uh, learning uh, what good position is, what, or what bad position is, and then what great position is. Uh, when you're in a bad position, uh, you tend to chase things. Uh, you, you tend to get yourself overextended uh, and that goes back to striking, to jiu-jitsu, to wrestling. Anytime you overextend yourself, you are in trouble. Um, and if you're going against a high-level competitor, that might be it. So um, 
you know, when you're in a bad position, you get yourself sort of flat, you get overextended. Um, you're not able to build yourself up. When you're in a good position, um, you're actually, you're in decent, decent position. You actually have a hold of something. There's something that you're holding on to. Uh, you feel like you're making progress, um, but it's still taking some effort. It's still taking some work, um, you know, depending on what you're um, striving for. But when you're in a great position, when you're in a great position and you have that angle, and sometimes it can be real slight. All it takes from a bad to a good to a great position is just those slight little angles. And that is it. So, uh, and that's the difference between a lot of high level people and people that's, you know, maybe they're starting out or maybe they, they've sort of, uh, you know, started something and then they just sort of quit. Um, figure out what position you're in, figure out maybe it maybe it's just those little shifts in perspective, in, uh, in your perception, maybe in your awareness to figure out, okay, you know what, I'm actually in a good position. Maybe I just need to look at it from a certain angle to get into a better position or to into a greater uh, position uh, than I currently, that I currently am, uh, that I was currently uh, in. So, um, Figure that, uh, and I think that would be something to for you to sort of explore and figure out. You know, what what things right now are you feeling like maybe you're you're holding on to too much? Maybe there, you know, if you're in a bad position and you feel like, you know, you still have to hold on to something. You you, you feel yourself getting overextended at times, and it could be in any facet of your life right now. It doesn't it really doesn't matter. Um, and you're you're holding on. You're actually putting in a lot of work to try to hold on to the thing that you need to let go of. <laughs> and this actually goes back to wrestling and to jujitsu is learning when to let go of certain things. Um, when you're in a good position, um, you, you're, like I said, you're still having to work. You're in a good position. You could be on the offensive. Um, you can't attack, but it's going to take some effort. It's going to take some work. When you're in a great position, and I've told um, a lot of my students this, when you're in a great position, you have the greatest luxury on this planet, which is time. And when you're in a great position, you can you can strike, you can attack any time that you want to. You know, uh, you you start to develop more patience because you're not worried about what the other person's going to do. You're not even worried about the situation. You know, you know, you're in a great position to do whatever you need to do in order to um, uh, be on the offensive. So once you have that great position, you know you can. I mean, even if you wanted to wait for a little bit, you can wait because sooner or later, you know, you're going you're to get what you're, what you're, uh, you know, what you're working for. That's when you're in that great position. You know, obviously all of us are in different levels. Uh, sometimes we go up and down. Hey, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I could be in a bad position, you know, in one part of the year and then being a, be in an awesome position in another part. Um, that's going to be the journey for me. And that's going to, you know, from for me is just learning how to be consistent day in and day out. Uh, not not really, you know. I'm not going to be in a, a great position all the time. Um, you know, I, I think um, a lot of times I just want to be in the position to where, heck, maybe if I just make little angles, little shifts in what I'm doing, then I can my trajectory. Then I can go to a uh, you know to where I need to go. But I think for for anybody else that's that's building something, that's creating anything, that's uh, maybe starting something new. Figure out what position you're in right now. Um, and it could be financially, it could be relationship-wise, it can be with the people that you hang out with, it could be your habits, um, your values. Uh, all of that stuff plays a part into um, how are you going to proceed with certain things. Um, maybe it's that one friend or that one partner or that one you know, boyfriend or girlfriend that you need to let go of in order to build yourself up back into a good position. Or, or maybe we're hanging on to a, to a job that, you know, yeah, it's probably helping us, you know, um, as far as pay bills and things like that. But is it really serving you? You know, uh, is it really, when you look at it, is it how much is that really helping you um, proceed with where you want to go? Um, or are you, you know, pretty much, a character in someone else's story and you're helping someone else. So um, figure that out. Or you might be in a good position. You might be in a, in a good position to where, hey, you know, things are sort of rolling. It's not great, but it's comfortable. It's good. Uh, and I've actually heard people say that to me. Hey, you know, I'm good. I'm good. Um, 
but when we're in a great position, you know, you, you I think for, for anybody, you know, when you get into the best position possible for you, you sort of feel different. You know, your, your energy is different. You know, you, you might, you might walk, maybe you, you may walk a little bit more upright. You know, have you ever noticed people that are in bad positions, how they, you know, even how they, they look at it, uh, you know, even, even how they're walking or maybe their uh, presentation, you know, they're always sort of slumped over or head is down or, you know, uh, woe is me, um, all kinds of things. And you feel it. Um, when you're in a good position, you're comfortable. You know, you're not necessarily, you know, in the best position possible, but you're, you're stable. And that's good. I, like I said, there is no, no judgment right now. Um, because like I said, I go up and down. Um, and then when you get into a great position, um, you feel lighter. You, you, matter of fact, a, a great, a great thing from Tony, uh, Tony Robbins is when you have that certainty, when you know you're going to, you're going to strike or, you know, you're going to score, you get, you get real confident. You get bold with your decisions. You know, if you, you feel like, uh, you know, Hey, um, when you get yourself in that great position or you feel like you're in a great position to strike, uh, you can make some pretty wild choices, you know, some wild, some wild decisions that's going to traject not only you, but your, your family and generations to come. That's when you start making those bold decisions. That's when you start, you know, creating that certainty in your life is when you're in a great position to really strike. And, you know, sometimes we just have to figure that out. Sometimes we have to have um, other people outside of our, you know, regular circle to, to look, to, to really tell us and say, Hey, look, you know, why are you hanging on to this? You know, why are you, you know, you, you need to let it go. Um, and sometimes we just, sometimes we just hold so much stuff, um, you know, to the chest, you know, to the heart that, you know, what if we let that thing go that we were sitting there holding on to for years? What if we just let it go? I guarantee you once that happens, and this is, this is found foundationally, this is what happens when you get into a better position with wrestling, with jiu-jitsu, when you let something go, first thing that pops up is your head. And that's just foundationally speaking. So when we, when we go back to um, whatever journey you're in right now, whatever uh, facet of life that you're in right now with your career or, you know, um, or relationship-wise or personally, when you let that thing go, you start to get a little lighter. You know, your back feels a little bit better. You start to look up a little bit. You know, you, you maybe you start wanting to move a little bit. Um, you're not just flat on the ground, you know, which face down on the ground and, and, you know, you're still holding on and latching on. You let go, you, everything starts to prop up a little bit. Head gets, uh, head looks up. Um, your body starts to shift a little bit. Um, you, you feel a little bit stronger. Um, so that's when you get into a good position. When you get into a bad, when you get into a great position, uh, and this is something that I've, you know, I've done as far as training with a lot of uh, wrestlers and, and grapplers and, and fighters. And uh, just personally with me, when you get into a great position uh, and you get the right angle, the right perspective, uh, the right perception, the right awareness. And it could be it could be minute. I mean, it could be small. But when you get that right angle um, and going even with striking boxing, if you get the right angle on somebody you can you can knock out anybody that's just you know point blank i don't care how big or small you are if you have the right angle on anything with jiu-jitsu with wrestling uh and you have the, the the right leverage the right angle with the right speed and ferocity you will destroy anything so anything that's going on with your life anything that you're feeling like um you know maybe it's a challenge or maybe it's uh you know some kind of struggle or anything like that you know, first, we may need to figure out how to let that thing go. Um, um, you know, sometimes we, we feel like we try to latch on and feel like, you know, we have to we have to hold on to it. Maybe you need someone from the outside and be like, hey, or a coach and be like, hey, look, you need to let that go. I guarantee you once you start doing that and feeling like you that the thing that you're holding on to doesn't define you. When you let that thing go, you, you start to get a little bit more energetic. Your head gets, your head goes up, your foundationally, uh, you, you feel a bit better. Your chest, you know, sort of props up your back, uh, feels better. You're not so heavy. When you get to a good position, it's comfortable. You know, you're not necessarily, um, going for everything that you said you was going to go for. Uh, but at the same time too, you're stable. And, and if you 
feel like that's the situation for you right now, you feel like you want to stay in that situation, that's perfectly fine. Um, like I said, that that is for you, uh, for you to decide only. But if you're looking to be in a great position, um, all it takes is one, maybe one book, one paragraph, uh, maybe someone from uh, someone from maybe out of your um, inner circle, someone that has no no judgment, no no emotional attachment to you to be like, hey, look, maybe you need to shift um, just a little bit. Shift what you're doing just a little bit. You don't have to you know, necessarily just let go of everything that you're doing because in a good position, it's working right now, but it's not necessarily the greatest position. So we're still, t- it's still taking effort. It's still taking energy to do what we're needing, uh, what, what you're trying to do. You're still pushing. When you're in the, the right angle, the correct angle, uh, the best angle for your life, you'll destroy any challenge that comes, to, comes through. Um, because you have the correct angle and you can attack it. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily saying you're going to you know, w- you know, win every situation, but you're in a great situation and you, and you're afforded patience and time to attack whenever you need to. Um, and I think that's, that's when we figure out, that's when we get a little bit more, uh, we, we create that certainty, we create that boldness in any of our decisions, any of our actions, because we know we're in the correct position um, for where we need to be at in our lives. And when you make those bold decisions and you act from certainty, and I mean, like I said, just paraphrasing from Tony Robbins, I'm telling you, you, you make some wild decisions, that's when your life starts to change. When you know for a fact, um, you know, there, there's, there's always a difference. There's a, there's a difference between believing something, believing it's going to work out, and when you know for a fact that it's going to work, I'm telling you, you, your life goes into high gear. You know, your life goes from, hey, it's good. Now it's, it goes to great. And now you start um, changing the trajectory of your life and the lives of your family, the lives of others, and everybody that's impacted around you. Because now you have that certainty. Now you know you're in the right position. You're in the right angle. You're, right, you're in the right percep- uh, perception. Your awareness is in the right angle. Uh, your vision is in the right direction. Uh, everything is effortless. You know, uh, even when I'm wrestling, I'm doing jujitsu and I know with a lot of my jujitsu coaches, um, that's, that's the biggest thing I always hear, uh, when I'm training is you don't, you don't need strength jujitsu, uh, even with wrestling, there's no strength involved in it. Yeah. If you're in a good position, yeah, you need the energy and the effort. But when you're in a great position, that's why I, when I do jujitsu, I never really roll around with the older guys or with the with the 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 seniors because they know leverage, they know the angles, um, they know all it need. All they need is one one little short angle to change, you know, change my directory, and you know, and it goes right to their advantage. So those that's the biggest thing that I've I've gotten from a lot of my jujitsu teachers is figuring out what that angle is, figuring out what your position is, and reposition yourself. Reposition your, yourself for greatness. You know, don't don't get used to just being, you know, yeah, it's good. It's good. I hey, wake, I want you to wake up one day. I want you to play, play with the universe, play, play with your day a little bit. Instead of, you know, instead of feeling like, hey, you know, I, you know, this is gonna be a good day. How about we wake up and it's like, hey, a great opportunity. I'm gonna put myself in a great position for opportunity in something and play around with it. See what happens, see what pops up. Just tell yourself, hey, look, I want to be in a great position to do such and such. I want to be in a great position to impact someone's life for the better today. I want to be in a great position to um, find those one or two great clients that's going to build my brand, build my business. I want to be in a great uh, position to uh, be able to have the, 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 the finances and the abundance needed to be able to give back to organizations and charities and to really um, work on my humanitarian efforts. So those are just, like I said, those are obviously, those are examples, but I always interrelate a lot of the things with wrestling. I actually tell, tell a lot of my, my students in wrestling class is, I mean, wrestling, I always relate wrestling and jiu-jitsu to life. It is, like I said, it is very imperfect. Um, and like I said, there's all kinds of things that you can do. It's, it's always up and down, it's a chess game. 
It's always strategies. It's always a move A to move B to move C to move D. You're always strategizing. You're always moving. You're always looking for the the move after the next move. Um, so figure that out. Um, you know, and like I said, and everybody's in their own different stages of their life. But maybe that thing right now, you, if you're in a bad situation right now, the thing that you're holding on to, the thing that you're latching on to, maybe you just need to let it go. I mean, sometimes we feel like, you know, we have to, you know, we have to have this so, so latched to our, to our heart um, that it, it weighs us down and that the weighing down that, that whatever grudge, or maybe you maybe you, you can't forgive someone, you know, maybe someone hurt you and you're, you're just not ready to give that up. Maybe that is the, that is the thing that is holding you down right now. And I guarantee you, once you let that go, Hey, you get a little lighter. Your head starts to pop up. I'm telling you, the first thing you when you let something go, first thing you do is you, hey, you take a deep breath and you look up. That's the first thing you do. Um, you know, and that's when you get into that bad position to a good position. Now, obviously, yeah, you get to a good position, you're you're good, you're stable, but still gonna take some energy and effort to do what you need to do. When you get into a great position and you get the correct angle and you reposition your mind, your body, your spirit. Uh, when you know for a fact who you are and how you want to show up every day, then that's when the magic happens. That's when, uh, you know, the paraphrase, uh, my, my good buddy, Logan, that's, that's when you, that's when you get wild with some things. Um, you know, that's when you get a little bit crazy. When you get, when you, when you know something and you, you have a hundred percent certainty, then that's when you, that's when life becomes magic. That's when you get magical with some things. That's when life becomes a, an adventure. Because you know for a fact who you are, how you roll, uh, how you want to show up, um, and who you want to be. So, um, so other than that, think about that. Figure figure out what, what position you're in right now. Are you in a bad position right now? Maybe you need someone from the outside that's looking in to tell you, hey, look, you're in a bad position right now. You, maybe you need to let the thing go that you're, you know, that you feel so tied to. It could be unforgiveness. It could be, um, you know, hate over someone um it like i said it could be anything and like i said everybody it, it's it, it's definitely different for everyone you know some people hold on to and, and latch on to certain things for longer than others but that first step is letting letting go of the thing that's trying to hold you down let it go that's just if you go to wrestling class you go to jiu-jitsu that's the first thing you never you never hold on to something <laughs> that's when you're 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 uh, out of position. You're overexposed. Um, you're overextended. Now you're flat on your you're on your belly, on your back, and now you're in trouble. Um, or you know, obviously, yeah. Let's get uh, once you let that thing go. Let's go. Now you're transitioned to a good position. It's still energy and effort required. Um, you're still pushing, but um, you're stable. Once you get into a great position, now you can now you're afforded patience and time. Now you got all the time in the world because you can attack and strike whenever you want to. Watch some of the greatest fighters, uh, UFC boxing. Um, I love their footwork. I love what they're doing. I don't care about the you know the them knocking them out. What I love is the the setups and everything before that to knock that person out. Uh, that's what, that's what I love. If I'm doing, if you're doing jujitsu, you know, I love all the setups and the, and all the baits before that initial submission. That's what I love. Or if you're taking down someone and you're in wrestling or getting a pin, I want to see all the setups required before that actual pin. That's just the byproduct. I love the setups behind that. Uh, but it takes the correct angle. It takes the right per, uh, perspective. Um, and like I said, it takes the right, uh, perception to be able and awareness to know you're in a great position to strike and you can strike whenever you want to. So other than that, it's been a great episode. We're here at Cobalpod. And um, yeah, I want to give a shout out to, to everybody that's checking this out on Instagram Live. Uh, give me a shout out. Let me know uh, what you think. Hey, let me know what other topics you want to talk about. This is probably the last episode. This be episode 67. Is actually called Reposition Yourself. And then I'll probably take a break for a couple of weeks and then we'll get back to it. But uh, we've got, um, you know, for the people that's been on Instagram Live, you know, you got you got to see episodes 66 and 67 here at Cobalt Pod. Uh, if you're in the Oceanside area, come by, check it out. Um, let's book a session today. Let's, let's start building your podcast. Start building up some content. And uh, let's start building your brand. Uh, you need to tell your story. 
this is the place to do it. So other than that, this has been another awesome episode of The Creative Brew. Be creative, stay inspired.